We're here at the Wine Business Monthly Bottle Bash and I'm with Emily Pelton from Veritas Winery from Virginia and she's pouring Petit Verdot today. And Emily, can you tell me a little bit about the Petit Verdot you're pouring? Sure, this is my 2009 Petit Verdot. Um, my AVA is Monticello. It's 100% Petit Verdot, so it's not only varietal but 100%. Um, and it comes from two vineyards that I pick just about two or three weeks apart. So I get two really nice characters. I get the ripe, fresh fruit character and good acid, but I also get the nice dark tannins, um, really soft, silky, big tannins from the, the second harvest of Petit Verdot. Petit Verdot isn't the first thing I think of when I think of Virginia wines. Why Petit Verdot? I've been working with Petit Verdot off and on for the last 10 years. I started making it a single varietal in about 2004. Um, it's ripening a, a slightly different than you would expect it to within, within the world. And, um, but what we're getting is really ripe fruit characters, not a lot of disease. It's got a nice thick skin, and um, it's doing really well for us in Virginia. How do people uh, respond when they see Petit Verdot? It's not, the, it's not a wine you come across bottled as a varietal. Sure, day. so they're always really intrigued. You I get a, a lot of interest, so people are always like, wow, Petit Verdot, I, I haven't had it on its own. And that's actually why I started doing it in 2004. It was kind of an exercise for me as well. Um, what is Petit Verdot? How, how does it stand alone? Because I've only ever had it as a, a 4% or a 5% or a little bit in every blend. But, but for us, it's standalone and it's doing a great job with ripening and, and um, performing well in the marketplace as well. Oh, the consumers seem to really love it. The other red variety that does pretty well in Virginia is Cab Franc, and I have to be really careful with my oak in Cab Franc, but with Petit Verdot, I get to, I get to go wild. I get to really uh, put some nice, uh, good oak in this, primarily French oak, and uh, it really brings weight to the wine and, and more interest and more spice. So. Congratulations on the wine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.